So today I'm going to be filming a day in the life vlog. So it is Friday the 10th of July and the weather is really nice which it's been quite rainy for the past couple of days. So I just thought I'd bring you along with me with whatever I choose to do today. But what I'm going to share with you now is my favourite recipe for making an iced coffee because I'm really craving one because it's such nice weather. Um, a friend actually taught me this recipe and it just makes the nicest like frappuccino kind of coffees which I love. Um, so yeah I thought I'd just come show you. Okay so to make the frappe, coffee frappe, basically all you need is instant coffee, sugar, um, milk so any kind of milk you want. I've got um, almond milk again and ice and that's it and a blender. And it kind of does taste like the ones you might find in like Starbucks or something. So um, you need to boil your kettle first. So mine's just boiled. And then what you want to do is add the coffee. So I kind of do in my one two, maybe like one and a half tables, uh, teaspoons of coffee. And then maybe one of sugar. Now, to make it like a mocha frappe style, you could also add one teaspoon, oh my God, one teaspoon of um, hot chocolate powder, but I'm just having like a normal coffee today. And um, you can also add like maybe vanilla essence if you want to make it like a vanilla latte, iced vanilla latte. So anyway, so I've got my instant coffee and my sugar, and then I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of hot water to it. So kind of just enough so it dissolves and give it a stir. And then the next step is to add um, the almond milk. And my friend who makes it says, add a glug of milk. So I feel like that's a good amount, but like not excessive. I think it all depends on how big you want the drink to be as well. But I'd say I generally add That much, I'd say, is how much I'd add. Maybe a bit more, actually. There we go. Um, and then add the ice. Now, the ice is what changes the consistency. So if you only add a few cubes, it's kind of smoother. Whereas if you add a lot, then you can really taste the ice. Like, it's a bit more watery, I'd say. So I'm going to go with maybe three? Maybe three and a half, because I've got some kind of small ones. Yeah, three and a half. So it looks like this. Um, and then I'm gonna whiz it in the blender. I'm actually so excited for this. I've not had one of these in ages because it's been kind of cold weather. And I feel like whenever it's cold, cold weather, you don't want a cold coffee, you want a hot one. Oh, I can still hear it. I think I can hear an ice. Oh wow, so this one looks a bit different to when I normally do it. I think I added less ice this time, but that looks really good. Okay, so, oh sorry, you can't even see it. That's what it looks like. That tastes really good. So yeah. So I also just wanted to come on here as part of the vlog and give you guys some recommendations about what I've been watching recently because I've been watching some really good stuff um, that I thought would be nice to share. So the first thing which I would totally recommend and it's on Amazon Prime, if you have Amazon Prime, is Little Fires Everywhere. And Reese Witherspoon actually like bought the rights to the book. So if you've not read the book, read the book as well. Um, she brought the rights to the book, sorry. So she made like a TV series out of it and it was so good. Me and my mum binge watched it in like um, one week, I think. And there's like 10 episodes, I think, or maybe there's eight. But it's really, really good. And it says it's kind of got a lot of underlying really important themes and issues, such as like motherhood and like contraceptive rights for women and um, there's a lot about race and like immigration and it's set in the United States in the 1990s. But yeah, that was really, really good. So like a lot of important topics they discuss as well as it being like a really good TV show because it's kind of based off of a mystery, like who started the fire and you only find out in the final episode. So I definitely recommend that one. And also, what's, oh yeah, the other one that we've been watching is White Lines. I was gonna say White Lines Everywhere, but no, 
White Lines on Netflix and that's really good. So I'm only halfway through that right now. I do like it. I find it a bit slow sometimes, but um, it's good because that's like a murder mystery as well. So it kind of makes you want to keep watching. Um, and it really makes me want to go to Ibiza as well. Like it literally looks amazing in all the shots. I don't know if it's actually filmed in Ibiza, but I guess it is. And the final thing that I was going to recommend was, oh yeah, so we watched, it's on Disney Plus at the moment, um, but like you do have to pay to get Disney Plus, I think, or maybe you can get a free trial. I'm not sure because my sister kind of like organised it, um, but Hamilton, I watched that because I'd never seen it, like I love going to Broadway shows and things like that, but I'd never had the opportunity to see Hamilton and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, like the first minute I was like, this is going to be so hard to like keep concentrating because it's literally like they don't stop singing, like the whole story is them singing. Um, but like, it was really good. And like, I'm actually quite interested in like American history. Um, and I've learned a lot about it at university and it was just really, really good. Like I was actually in awe of these people. Like I was thinking they must be so physically fit to keep singing and to keep dancing and to be acting like nonstop for two and a half hours. But also like, they must be so intelligent to remember all the lines to the songs and all the steps and all like, it was actually crazy. Like I was in so much awe of these people. And then I went, the next day I went on Spotify and um, to get the soundtrack up and like, oh my God, it's actually so good, the soundtrack. And I've literally been listening to it nonstop, especially when I'm running as well. That's a really good soundtrack to listen to. So yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a little update on things that I've been watching. So it's actually the next day now, um, but I just thought I'd give you guys a little update of what I've been up to because I didn't actually vlog anything from the other day um, because I've actually been kind of busy, which I was just going to talk about like kind of being busy again. It's a weird feeling and like going to see friends again and doing stuff that you'd normally do. Um, but obviously after all the pandemic. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd insert some pictures or like videos from my phone of things that I've been up to because I didn't have, I don't have like a vlog camera to take out with me. Um, so I went, I was actually going to recommend, um, Jane's Patisserie website because I did some baking and a friend recommended me the website because she says they have like loads of really nice stuff on their website and they've got an Instagram page as well. So I made some stuff from there, some baking, so I'll try and insert a clip. So I thought I'd include a little clip of the baking that I was telling you about. Now these are from the website, um, Jane's Patisserie and these are the coconut and chocolate chip blondies there and these are the I think it's the honeycomb flapjacks but I didn't have coconut so they're just chocolate chip blondies and I didn't have honeycomb so they're just flapjack with a layer of chocolate on top but yeah they're really nice I just packaged them up really cute because I thought I'd like give them as a little present to some family that we're seeing later in the week so yeah I went to Manhattan for cocktails and they do two for one cocktails all day every day so if you're looking for like a nice place to go with the girls we just went for like a few cocktails in the day um i definitely recommend that really nice cocktails and two for one they're basically half price all day every day <laughs> for me i've definitely noticed that the past kind of couple of days my mood's really lifted and i think it's because life's kind of getting back to normal and i'm seeing friends again and we're going out for drinks or we're going out for coffee or we're going to the shops again um so yeah well-being tip it's a bit of a random one um but it's definitely to do things that you'd normally do and for me that's definitely like hanging out with my friends like seeing them every day um just doing things with them and that's kind of me getting my life back bit back to normal a bit um so yeah whatever your kind of normal is kind of readjusting to that um would definitely be my well-being tip this week i think so it's a bit of an odd one but yeah Oh, also, I wanted to shout out my friend um, at Gracie Rose Jewelry. Um, she does really nice earrings. I'm actually wearing these ones from her today. Um, she does earrings, rings, necklaces, glasses, um, chains, and she's they're really good price. And um, she donates a lot of her profit, I think, to charity. I want to say. So um, yeah, I definitely recommend going checking out her Instagram page if you are looking for some new earrings. But yeah, so I think that will be it for this video. So it's kind of been a more relaxed, chatty style video this week, just because I thought I kind of wanted you guys to see a bit more of like what I'm actually like um, without being like scripted or too much editing. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed it. And yeah, I hope you have a great week. And I hope you're starting to enjoy a bit again, like the kind of freedoms we have now. 
um, in the UK and starting to get back live to normal a little bit. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, please, 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 if you've liked it, comment down below or like and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I'll be back next week with maybe another vlog like this. Thank you. Bye.